Hi everyone, it's Alicia with the Doherty Dozen and this is my midweek mini haul grocery trip for my family of 14. But first, coffee. This is my favorite coffee right now. It is a large iced caramel coffee with cream from McDonald's. Um, I don't know how much it is because I always get Coke too. Anyways, I got myself a coffee. I got myself a Coke. I got Brie a Coke because she also loves McDonald's Cokes. And I can't like get myself one without getting her one. And it was like $4.55, I think. So, yeah. Oh, wait. I think I have the receipt right here. I do have the receipt. This coffee is $1.79. Like, way cheaper than Dunkin', too. Yeah, I'm, this is my new, this is my new coffee. I'm sorry, I love you, Duncan, but this coffee is really good. Anyways, I'm going to run into Wegmans. It's the kids' first day of school, but Zoe and Bree have a doctor's appointment. So, like, even though all my kids are in school, I got to hurry because I got to pick them up early from school and get them to their doctor's appointment. Um... What else? Oh, I placed an Instacart order this week. I don't know. I did a giant Walmart haul this past weekend. I will link that in the description of this video. And then I placed an Instacart order. What day was Nana and Papa over? Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday I placed an Instacart order because our day was insane. Alex had seen your pictures. Patrick had a cross country race. So I was like, Nana can oh and the girls and I got our nails done before they started school and I was like Nana can I place an instacart order and you'll put it away for me so I'll show you that and then um I, like somehow we still need groceries we're out of milk oh shoot and I almost forgot I need sauce so we're out of milk all right here's my mini list remembered I need sauce for the casserole tomorrow uh, spaghetti sauce because I used it all the other night for meatball subs I got baked potatoes in the crock pot before I left we're doing baked potato bar tonight for dinner okay so here's my list today I don't understand like how do I already need this much stuff and I already did a massive haul this weekend and a mini haul. I don't know if they're going to have the school supply stuff, but these are like random school supplies that we still need that we don't have. All right, let's go. I'm stalling. Blasting some old school Britney Spears. Okay, um, let's get the lunch chips. Sorry, I have like dry skin on my nose because I had a cut on my nose, so now I keep like thinking. I see it out of the corner of my eye, and you probably can't even see it, but it's driving me nuts. In case you're wondering why I keep going like this, that's why. All right, chips. He's only have two in a pack. Chips. Okay. 
All right, this is the random school supply section, but they're of course wiped out of binders, but that's okay. I will go to, oh, you know what? I gotta go to Walgreens today and I'm betting they have some. So binders, dividers. And Alex wanted an agenda, which I didn't think I would find here anyways. Okay. Where to get the sauce for the casserole. There it is. I don't understand why they move around the placement of things. Oop. Actually, I need diced tomatoes too because I used those up this week. Diced. Diced. Nope, that's crushed. I want diced. You know what I really liked? I'm gonna show you. Actually, I might have got it at Walmart, so hold on. Okay, it was this brand, diced tomatoes, but they were fire roasted and they were awesome. But I got them at Walmart. So, this I will look at Walgreens today. Okay, I didn't write it down, but we need Mountain Dew. Blue Mountain Dew, that's like teal. And if Pink Point is in stock, Jordan's going to be so excited. Is his favorite. They really need to have it more than once a year in stores. We're gonna get some pumpkins. Alright, I'm getting these for some recipes I saw on Instagram. Alright, we need. Ham, sandwich meats, they're all out, or we might have like one slice left. I also want to get sour cream for the um, baked potato bar. Yes, I thought I bought enough, but then we ate it all at the Taco Tuesday night. I made baked chicken tacos on Tuesday. Oh my gosh, they were so good. And I'm gonna grab the Claritin D right now because I have to go to the pharmacy for that. Never mind. There's a line at the pharmacy, so I'll get that at Walgreens too. Okay. Scallions, Walmart didn't have. Which, like I said, they are not a necessity, but they're just for like aesthetics. In my opinion, sorry if you really, really love the taste of scallions. Did not mean to offend you there. The watermelon I got at Walmart was bad, so I haven't had melon yet this week, and I've been wanting melon. This I got at Walgreens when I could drag the girls in with me after their doctor's appointment. The vegetable garden still has a ton of cucumbers and tomatoes and squash. Because it is like 90 degrees here in New York. Alright, I'm a little worried to get melon because even these melons don't look good. Uh, do I try? I don't know. Maybe it just wasn't a good year for melon. Alright, we'll try it. We're gonna try some honeydew. Alright, these 
things are looking good today. We came on a good day. Thursdays for berries, apparently. Alright, let's go check out from this haul and we'll have to do one later for the rest of this stuff. Apparently every single person in Rochester had the same idea to come to the store today while their kids were in school for the first time in months. Look at this at Five Below. Isn't that a cute bag? Probably copyrighted, but nobody would tell anyone. I didn't make it. Five below did. Okay, yeah, I have brownie mix at home. Okay, I saw on Instagram the, first of all, I saw on Instagram a recipe with these, but I just realized I didn't get the other ingredients, but that's okay. I can do the brownie one. Because I saw a cute brownie recipe using these. Be able, there's my giant van. I found it. And here is the receipt today. Just dump my van's a disaster. It's on my list of things to do. There's also, um, yeah, all the laundry I have to take to the laundry room tonight. So we was supposed to have horseback riding yesterday. So that's when I go to the laundry room. Now that she's back riding, because it's down the road. Um, and then it got canceled because it was, we were under, um, what's it called, a heat something. It was really hot. So they canceled sports. And now her makeup course back riding is tonight. So I'll go to the laundromat tonight. Doggies. See, even my doggies don't clean up after themselves. Buy them a pup cup. They can't even take care of their garbage. Also, I did not vlog the first day of school. Um, it just was not happening. It was so crazy this morning. I mean, I could have just like set up a camera to capture the chaos, but it was insanity. Like, the good kind of insanity. Just trying to get all the kids out the door after they slept in every single day all summer long. And um, I have my kids pick out their clothes the night before, right? So we're like, okay, it's gonna be super hot tomorrow, but then it was raining. And you know how like when it's raining, it's kind of feels chilly. It was pouring rain this morning. It's still raining. It's been like this off and on rain all day. So then the kids were like, well, I don't wanna wear that because now I wanna wear the Old Navy outfits we got that were like long sleeves and stuff. I was like, okay, just layer so you can like, you know, take stuff off if you're hot and have like a t-shirt underneath or shorts underneath. 
they changed outfits yeah i couldn't even, i wouldn't even been able to record anyways they changed outfits so many times <laughs> like this is why we pick out your outfits the night before but i get it this first day of school they were excited and they wanted to wear their new clothes except for dash dash woke up dash just put on any old thing from his dresser i don't even think he looked at what he grabbed i didn't even match i was like whatever you do you you feel comfortable and confident and you are happy with what you're wearing well who am i to step in and say anything <sighs> although i still have to put i think i have to go through his dresser still nana went through bodie's dresser tuesday oh speaking of dressers if you've been here a while you know that we have slowly been replacing all of the kids dressers with these phenomenal Amish made handmade woodwork um like straight from the tree Nana like helped Nana Papa helped picked out the trees it's amazing if you haven't seen them they're like stunning um solid wood anyways one by one we've been replacing them uh, and Tuesday Nana Papa Nana and Papa live out in Amish country, my in-laws. They brought the, why is traffic so backed up? Tuesday, they brought two more dressers. So now we have Deshaun has his and Bodie has his. So Papa helped Deshaun and Nana helped Bodie with like getting their clothes transferred over to their new dressers. I'll have to show you, they're awesome. Who's left, I think. Trick. I kind of did like the upstairs bedrooms first because I feel like nobody goes downstairs like not that it matters but I don't know I just wanted like uniformity upstairs so the twins have theirs Deshaun now has his um the girls and Dash and now Bodie was that eight, I think. Whatever. I don't even know. <laughs> so now we need... Actually, I don't even know if we'll do Alex. Alex is, like, living... I mean, Alex started his senior year. Like, he's... He's got one more year. And by the time the dresser would be done, he'll be, like, moving to college. Because that's how long it takes them to make them. Um, James already has his. And... Patrick. I gotta get Patrick's. Patrick definitely needs one. Patrick has like two dressers right now, but these dressers that have been being built are like huge. So consolidate into one dresser. They cannot mess up these dressers. I can't tell you how many like, not cheap, like they're not cheap, Target and like Target dressers and stuff like that but I can't tell you how many of those we have gone through in 13 years of being parents oh my gosh there's a remote control lawnmower over there sorry I have ADHD in case you're new here well I gotta go to the post office today that thing is so cool how do you tell it like where your yard ends and it doesn't go into the neighbor's yard hmm. things my brain wonders about this week starts all the fall sports we had like a transition period of just high school sports but then saturday Harley's doing dance and the twins Jordan and Jason are doing flag football so Saturday we'll have dance cross country football flag football violin yeah violin got moved to Saturdays and then on Tuesday they have their first parkour class um, I signed Dash, Jordan, Jason, Bodie, and Harley up for parkour. 
this is gonna be so stinking cute and i'm so excited harley's been wanting to do dance she's five but she's been wanting to do dance for years but the studio we go to which is like the only studio i'll go to because it's amazing um it took me forever to find a studio that i liked because there are a lot of dance studios in our area that are competitive and all about like perfection and um we're not about that we're about have fun we're about go get some movement in your body and enjoy yourself and and live life and have fun and be happy um and so this studio i've been waiting for them to shift classes around because up until now we haven't been able to fit dance class into our schedule for Harley. So she is so excited that she starts dance on Saturday because they finally have a Saturday class. It's way too crazy during the week to try to get all the way to the studio because it's not like in our town because like I said, I have tried the studios in our town and I don't want competitive dance. I don't want like, yeah, that's just me. If you are in competitive dance and like that is what you love, like I support that that's what you love and that's what's good for your life. But I just didn't want that. I want my kids to just mm, try it and have fun. Does that make sense? Now I like to watch competitive dance. <laughs> I used to watch Dance Moms. That was like one of my favorite shows for a while. All right, I've got just enough time to put the groceries away. And then I gotta grab the girls. Whoa, that was a close call. This is our garage where we keep most of our food storage and our recycling back there. That's fun. But yeah, these are our pantry shelves in the garage. Actually, I think we'll have melon with dinner tonight. Halloween candy I got that I don't want the kids to sneak 
before I like want to use it for a recipe. So I usually leave it in a bag and hide it on the top and then I forget about it myself because don't let me forget. Miracle. Okay, right, so we keep our bread up here. Um, this is the pumpkin chocolate chip bread I made. Really? See, this was all we had left. Bottle feed like two kids. <laughs> Sorry for the other ten. Okay. This I'm gonna put in the fridge. So I think I have like a piece of ham left. One piece of ham. Okay, we're gonna consolidate here. Put that in there. I save these and wash them. And use them. I'm gonna have to put the chips away later. I gotta get the girls. Buckle up before you start driving. Don't be like me. Brie was not happy that she has a doctor's appointment the first day of school. Brie loves school. Like if she could go to school every single day, all year long, she'd be happy. She loves it. <laughs> like I'm so sorry. That's just the way the doctor's schedule fell. To go to school in New York, you have to see a doctor once a year and be up to date. So she's got to go. I am not going to run the rest of the errands today because the girls had to get shots and they didn't want to like go get stuff. They just wanted to come home. So we are home and I'm going to actually, I remembered, um, I have to get Harley's dance stuff because she starts dance Saturday. So tomorrow we will go to a Target haul and get the dance stuff, the rest of the school supplies, the Claritin D and laundry. Because I like to like run errands while the laundry is washing since I'm not just like sitting there. So anyways, that's the plan. We are done for today. Thank you for spending time with me. You are strong. You are beautiful. You are loved. You belong. And I am so proud of you. I'll see you next time.